Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Recently, Sister Wise fans have highlighted out the inconsistencies during the show the hint to the Browns lying at different moments throughout the show. Some fans are seeing and exposing the Brown family's massive lies. The Brown family forgets some things they have previously said on Sister Wives. Many Sister Wives fans have watched the family evolve over the years. Undeniably, they have changed their tune on various different issues throughout the 18 seasons of the show. With so many moving elements, it is hard for the Browns to keep up with what they say while filming. Now fans are uncovering occasions that the family was caught in lies. Unmistakably, there are almost too many to count. Sister Wise fans expose and blast Brown's family big lies. On Reddit, Sister Wise viewers had a chat about the falsehoods in the show. First one user says, let's poke holes in their claims. Then, they continue, one of my favorite things to do is to disprove lies they've told on the show using facts or observations seen on the show. What are some of your favorites? Furthermore, the user opens off the discussion with some of their greatest reveals from the family outing itself over time. They add, I always rant about Cody's excuses to leave Christine during labor and why it was solely to see Robin, but I also like Robin claiming she never took the personality test. My new one I heard during my current rewatch is Janelle and Mary both hinting they had no issues in their bedroom activities and Cody saying you shouldn't be sexually active if you don't love someone, but later saying he never loved the OG3. Some incidents were disclosed during the lookbacks where Cody, Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Robin Brown had to watch how they reacted in the past against their current opinions on many various matters. Fans add more examples of time the Browns were caught in a lie. After the initial Redditor posted the post, several other fans gave other examples they thought of from the past. The one where Robin says she is a jewelry designer. Cody, I don't feel loved. Also, Cody, I'd rather be respected than loved. When Janelle was running in the race and before it took place, Robin was so concerned that Janelle's matching shirt didn't arrive. Then when it came in at the last minute it was a smaller size than they ordered. Robin was so sad and said she was sorry Janelle would not match the family. Janelle tried on the shirt and she looked pretty fantastic in it. Robin really was disappointed then. The wives in the new season saying that they did not ever sign up for patriarchy, when in the early seasons they talk about how they absolutely signed up for patriarchy. I guess they even talk about it during their TV interview. Someone else adds out, Cody said their reason for doing the show was to combat the stereotype of patriarchy. Robin Brown's mansion, some Sister Wise fans remember how Robin Brown had excessive expectations for obtaining a rental. Robert not wanting to buy a house, but doesn't relent on the impossible requirements of renting a house so has to buy a mansion. Any self-decent family would reduce whilst renting to save for a house purchase. R and C never had any intention of building with the family. Someone else adds to the point of Robin Brown's rental expectations, saying, I'm at that point in my rewatch too. She wants a seven-bedroom rental. Why seven bedrooms? At most they need six, seven to include a nanny. Like with the other families, the girlies may double up as could the tiny ones. Four bedrooms at most. Can I add to this? Earlier season, Cody said that families like theirs always have kids share bedrooms. But then Robin wouldn't have any of her kids share rooms. When Robin during the one home discussion says that any of the wives and even Cody can leave the relationship at any time and shouldn't have to stay and feel trapped in their marriage. Then, she is incredibly enraged when Christine leaves and won't let Mary go, even though she knows Cody never plans to be with her again. They can leave as long as they keep putting money in their bank account lol. Sister Wise viewers remember a sad encounter. During Save the Eyed 19, there was a significant division in sister wives between many of the family members, especially Cody's dissatisfaction of how Gabe and Garrison Brown were not following the rules that Cody set. But during that time, 
Fans remember a very sad event that occurred that was tough to see. A viewer remembers Cody saying they never forget a birthday, but Gabe Brown's was forgotten. Another viewer comments, same, I always cry when I see that scene. All he needed was his dad to comprehend that he hurt him but Cody has too much pride to apologize to his kids. I hope after what occurred with Garrison he has done some self-introspection and maybe started healing the connections with his kids. Sister Wise fans discuss the Browns' financial decisions. Additionally, Sister Wise viewers recall Janelle Brown saying she had her own money. Janelle at the panel slash debate saying she has her own bank account, and she doesn't share. When they first get to Vegas, Cody says he cashed his 401k for them to live off during the transition. They express how they are all seeking for jobs because they are not a one-income household. Guess who is the only one to have never found outside work in 18 seasons? They lie about their dire financial sitch repeatedly. What broke person can afford to move, have constant professional picks taken, own 8 million watches, start a jewelry business, etc., etc., add museum. I guess they have to pretend they don't have the TLC money, but it does always so annoying to watch. What do you think about the claims from Sister Wise viewers? What other contradictions have you found while viewing the show? Are you ready to watch the new season? Let us know what you think in the comments below. The duo didn't have a long engagement and got married during a ceremony in Moab, Utah, on October 7, 2023. Loving life. I got to marry my love and it was a beautiful day. Christine wrote via Instagram alongside several photos from their wedding. I'm just so overwhelmed with gratitude. Love you, my king. Christine hasn't been hesitant about shading her former while speaking about her new relationship. In April, the reality TV personality mentioned an infamous nacho incident where Cody was grossed out by the manner she ate nachos. David seemingly transformed the terrible experience into a positive one after Christine wrote that they went on a fun nacho date night. I feel blessed to have someone to laugh with. Christine shared via Instagram on April 18, accompanying a series of images from the couple's night out. The nacho incident is seemingly about a passage the father of 18 published in the family's 2012 biography, Becoming Sister Wives, the story of an unconventional marriage. In the novel, Cody said that watching Christine eat nachos cooled his attraction. I was convinced that Christine was the cutest girl in the world. Although she was a little chubby, the patriarch told, We've been on the road all night. We stopped at a gas station. Christine went into the Quickie Mart and ordered herself what appeared like the largest amount of chili cheese nachos that I'd ever seen. Thanks for watching if you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.